our district finds ways to ward off COVID, Sywood students kick for charity, senior celebrations, and we say goodbye to one of our own. Welcome to Cypress Woods High School, home of the Wildcats, and you're watching C-Dub Today. Welcome back, Wildcats, to our final Seed Up Today episode for this school year. I'm your host, Abby Hernandez, and I'm ready to spring ahead and recap everything that has happened in the month of May. This month, the district has made COVID vaccinations accessible to staff and students. Fatima Abbasi has more to this story. After a year of the pandemic, students' concern of the virus is as strong as ever. My family is very prone to getting COVID. My dad has type 1 diabetes. But there is hope in the form of a vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is a two-dose vaccine, so you will have to receive two injections um, to be fully vaccinated. So after you receive the first injection today, you'll wait 21 days and then we'll give you the second injection. Students are now able to get vaccinated right on campus. It was just nice because yesterday my mom out of the blue just said, you're going to Woods to get a vaccine, so I thought it was pretty cool because it's basically down the block. With the vaccine so close to home, it's only a matter of time before we're all COVID safe and ready for the next school year. Reporting for CDOT Media, I'm Fatima Abbasi. Our Wildcats have been busy all month long, whether it has been testing, athletics, or other extracurricular activities. And one event that can't be missed is the annual kickball tournament. Cy Woods had another successful kickball tournament. This was a great event for people to hang out and have fun. Um, I decided to be on the kickball team this year because I thought it would be a fun experience to have with my friends. We'd all get to hang out and play kickball. And then it's also a really good chance to give back to the community, which is a very big part of Cy Woods. While this is a great event to hang out with friends, it's also great to give back to our community. I was going to the PTS Foundation of America uh, at Camp Hope. Uh, that's where we're donating all the proceeds uh, to this tournament. The Cy Woods Kickball Tournament has donated to many charities in the past. Uh, really, we, we, we get a committee together and just come up with a, we vote on which charities we want to donate to. Like for the past two years, we did uh, the JDRF and before there, uh, the Heart Association. This year, the number of APs got together and thought Camp Hope would be a great organization to donate to. Overall, the tournament was a success and will be returning next year. Reporting from C-Dub Media, I'm Jabari Lynch. Last year led to the cancellation of some of our favorite events, but using our power of 212, we are back on track. May means the accumulation of high school for our Wildcat seniors. Take a look at some of the fun events provided to celebrate them in style. This is usually the part of the show where we include our monthly segment, Meet the Teach. However, this month we have decided to do something a little different. Our teacher, Lori Andrade, explains. This month, we were saddened to hear one of our Wildcat family members had passed away. Major Wanda Ewing, the AFJROTC instructor at Cypress Woods High School, lost her battle to cancer at the beginning of May. Her passing has affected us all deeply. Major Ewing proudly served our country in the Air Force for 17 years. She traveled the world in service to our country. After retiring from active duty, she chose to continue to give back by becoming an educator. Wanda had a master's in business administration, as well as a teaching certification in special education. For the past combined 23 years, Major Ewing served faithfully as the senior aerospace science instructor at Lowell High School in Lowell, Massachusetts, and in Cypher ISD at Cypress Springs High School and Cypress Woods High School. Over the years, we have watched her mentor hundreds of students. She believed that every person had the ability to succeed. Some just needed a little push to get them where they need to be. There wasn't a day that went by Major Ewing wasn't focused on her, quote, babies. 
as she liked to call them. And the results are evident. So many of these babies have gone on to be successful as adults thanks to that push by Major Ewing. Wanda may no longer be a part of this physical world, but her legacy lives on in those she has touched. She is a role model for the teachers and adults here in our community. Her voice still pushes her babies to try harder and go further than they thought they could. And it is that voice we will use as we continue to finish what she has started. Major Ewing's 212 spirit shines in all of us. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. We will not say goodbye merely until we meet again. Rest in peace, Major Ewing. C-Dub. Although the school year is wrapping up and some are leaving our hallways, it is never goodbye. Instead, we say, until we meet again. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CFISD underscore CW Media. Hit us up on Instagram and always keep updates by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Abby Hernandez and thank you for watching CW Today as we strive every month to go that extra degree. See you next year.